Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be trying out the uh, Vintage Le Mans series. I don't remember the exact name but you know it's these cars. Um, and I wish I had thought of it earlier in the Group C cars. Um, so I'm going to do a little series for these cars um let me know what you guys think I, i'm gonna do a double feature in today's video these are longer races though so it's gonna make the video a lot longer um so let me know if you guys would prefer these to be each car has its own video or if you still want me to do the double feature despite the longer races um so we're gonna start with the lowest PI car, work our way up through the ranks and see how we do, starting with the Lola. Let's hop in. All right, as per usual, starting at the back, no qualifying. Got a couple of board, board GTs behind us. Dude. What the heck was that? Really, bro? You're gonna run me off the track like that? Alright. Well, this has been an interesting start. Oh, please. No! Okay. I can see that this is gonna be a very chaotic series. You guys do your thing back there, leave me out of it. Alright, up here into 14. Making... Well, got past that little argument that's happening back there. I'd like to get by this guy, he... Kind of tried to run me off the track at turn one. Okay, well, that was a very chaotic first lap, and it looks like the field is still close enough together that this could be another very interesting lap. Oh! Talk about threading the needle there, holy cow. Made some pretty good moves on this lap. We're about to get blitzed by this Porsche. I think that thing's in our class. Um, so yeah, it's that's gonna be the last thing we drive in this little series because I'm pretty sure it's the only one of these in our class. It doesn't seem to have very good handling, but it's a rocket ship in a straight line. Actually, I'm surprised that Ford is pulling away from it. Maybe that the car I'm in is just really slow in a straight line. Alright, well, 
we're up here into 10th, and as you guys know, 10th is the goal when we start from the back, so. Oh wow, this guy's got a four second penalty up here. in the middle of the road. You look like an AI. I don't get involved in a scuffle between these two. We're gonna go one more lap on these tires. It looks like I guess this is gonna be a two-stop race, which may mean that I make this just a single car video, um, because that's going to make these 12 laps even longer. I don't know. I I'll, I'll go ahead and do what I said at the beginning. I'll make this one a double feature, and then based on y'all's feedback, we'll make, you know, that's how we'll make the rest of the videos. I did adjust uh, my mic volume again a little bit because I noticed that uh, it sounded a little bit low in the last video. Uh, let me know if it's better in this one. I, I feel like I'm talking more at my normal volume, whereas before I felt like I had to really speak up a lot. Here into fourth, heading into the pits. Switch over to some other tires. It looks like that was the perfect number of laps. Avoidable contact? I really disagree, game. Alright, well. That sucks.
Ew. So that's not avoidable contact when he cuts across me. But when he loses control of his car, it is avoidable contact. I don't understand this game. This penalty system needs to be fixed, turn 10, because you guys are really... Okay, well... Now we're getting punched around. That was a very interesting uh, series of events there. Right now, all I'm really trying to do is run away from the people behind, and if that results in me catching this dude, that's just a bonus. That'll work. See, now that we're in, in clean air, we're able to actually go at our pace. One more lap again because why not? I mean, through that section, we, we actually pulled ahead. And I think we're faster through this section than the guy behind too, so... Hopefully we can pull a, an even bigger gap here before we make this next pit stop. see where we come out and see if this is the wrong strategy.
come out in sixth where we were, or did we? Uh, there's now we're in sixth, now we're in seventh. Okay. We do have the freshest tires on the track as of right this moment, I believe, so. We'll see if that gives us any advantage or. or what, I don't know. I guess maybe not, since it's only. Um, maybe the strat is four laps. Hit, four laps, hit, and then four laps, instead of doing five laps. That might be the actual strategy. I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. Well, up into fifth, that guy had an issue there. Duck underneath the Porsche. I fully expect him to come back on the straight anyway, so I'm gonna give him room. That's the wrong time to do that, bud. Jeez. Okay. Well, that's cool. Despite our half second penalty, we did uh, move up all the way to third. Considering that's the first race I've done at all in this series, you know, and this car, uh, I'm happy with that result. So, uh, Let's go ahead and hop into the next race and see how that goes. Alright, welcome to our second race, everybody. Uh, we are here at Mid-Ohio. And based on my practice lap, I am very concerned about how this race is going to go. Uh, unfortunately, this is not loading, but... We're starting back here in 16th out of 21. I may actually let everybody behind me go ahead because this car is so hard for me to drive and I'm not a very good tuner. So the little bit of work I tried to do on it, I mean, it made it better, but it's still quite the handful. So, uh, well off the pace in practice. Let's just hop in and pray that we don't get last. Yeah, I'm concerned. Go ahead and let everybody go. I really don't trust myself or this car. As you can see, already struggling.
given how little control everybody seems to have over their cars, uh, we have managed to avoid all of the incidents so far. It feels so twitchy, dude. Uh, battle of the Ford GT generations right there. That's pretty cool. I know I'm not saying much in this one guys, but I'm really, this is all about survival for me. Oh, can you turn please? Alright, this is about where I expected us to be. So, I guess now we can just focus on trying not to crash anymore. I know this probably isn't a very exciting race, but at least it'll be the last one we have to do. Well... So much for that. This might be the worst race you guys ever see me do. So this car is easily the worst car I've ever driven in this game. I would rather drive a V8 supercar any day, and those things suck, so, yeah. Uh, not a race that I am proud of, but it is what it is, you know? It's the second worst PI car, but it's probably going to be the worst car to drive. I can't imagine something else being worse than this. The Lola in the last race was amazing. It felt super good. Maybe a little bit oversteery, but that's nice for a change, you know, since most cars in this game are extremely understeery. I'm trying to manage the throttle, but even barely pushing on it, it's got the tires spinning up. Please stop. Thank you. I feel like I'm in a drift car or something. At least I'm not the only one struggling, though. This guy back here seems to also be uh, struggling a little bit. Not as much as me, clearly, but... I tried lengthening the gears a lot to help with wheel spin, and uh, it, it didn't help. I mean, I can even try short shifting and it still just wants to drift.
maybe if someone comes up with a tune for this, I'll try it again, but for right now... For right now, this will be the last race I do with this car. Because this thing is... awful, in my opinion. It says I can do a 123, and I would like to see that, because I don't believe it for a second. We're a minute behind the leader, almost. Overcooked it. Was paying attention to the leaderboard and not where I was going. Well, hopefully this is the worst race you guys ever see from me. If you have clicked off at this point, I completely understand. If you haven't, thank you for being patient. Uh, I apologize for the terrible, terrible driving. I blame it partially on the car and partially on I suck at driving. So, um, yeah. This is... This has been a rough one. Uh, if you are still watching, then... You know, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, because this is... This is the worst race you'll probably ever see me do. Um, if you are someone who continues to come back for these videos, I... I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate you, it's, I mean, you guys are awesome, and, you know, if you like watching, uh, this terrible style of racing, if you like watching me struggle to keep a car on the road, uh, you know, hit the like button, let me know if you guys are enjoying this. It says a 123, and I'm doing a 132, so either the AI is on something, whatever's determining that, I assume it's AI, um, yeah, either the AI is on something, or I, I'm really, really bad at driving this car, I'm not sure yet which one, but... I don't recommend that anybody drive this car unless you fully expect to have a bad time. Because uh, that's that's what I'm going to say is the most likely scenario. Not because I'm anything special, not because this tune is anything special, but just because unless somebody is a wizard with tuning, I just don't see how you could make this car good. Alright, well, we are in not last. 
so, you know, some insane moves there. Anybody in this section is beyond me because this car's handling has got to be worse than that one. Like, there's just no way that the Ford GT can have worse handling than this thing. should have been there. Whoops. Well, we'll struggle for one more lap and it looks like that guy behind is going to do the same thing, so we'll just make it our goal to keep in front of him and uh, we'll pit at the end of this lap unless I forget again, which hopefully now that I'm talking about it, I won't. sure where to break at all I don't trust this car at all so I'm like breaking early I'm trying to short shift you know and stay like in second gear because first gear is just hilarious um, yeah so this has been quite the struggle I, mean, I guess we haven't struggled as much as some people because some people have quit but, you know, at the same time, this has not been what I would call exciting racing. Uh, okay, we managed to get in here. come out not last because that guy pulled in behind us so I wonder if that guy in front of us is gonna pit like the guy who's about to start lapping us. seconds behind the guy in front of us and he has done his two pit stops so that's uh that should give you an idea of just how off the pace we are first place is 80 seconds ahead i think that's him right behind us on the mini map down there but last lap here i mean look that's 
That guy's done. I, we're barely gonna finish this race. Good lord. Well, we managed to avoid getting lapped, so there's a positive. But, wow. This has been a struggle, man. Make our last lap our fastest lap. That is the question. Uh oh. Nope. Well, I went from breaking too early to not breaking at all. So that's awesome. And we're still not last. So that's good, but unfortunately we did lose the position to this guy, and he was like six seconds behind us at one point, so totally bend that, absolutely terrible. not what I would call very exciting racing but to be fair we didn't lose or gain any spots so looks like Avid Oregano did that too so I mean we were also five seconds off the leader's base which is just yeah not good anyway guys uh, I know that second race was rough, but if you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up uh, and subscribing to the channel if you're new. If you are a subscriber and you continue to come back and watch these videos, I appreciate you guys so much. And if you've made it this far, you guys are the, the best. Uh, I hope to catch you guys in the next one.